Yeah. yeah pull, pull the... What's President's Day? Oh, it's we're coming doing, up. Oh, we're close. All right. G Dubs Bush. That's absolutely gonna be my day. There will be a there will be a tournament that Monday if Cats is bad, but otherwise they're probably. Ready, go. All right, we're going into it. Oh, can you um, can you pull up a chat pop out so I can see it here? Or well, yeah, I just. Oh yeah, I didn't think of that. OBS is finicky. It will sometimes let you pull up a browser pop up and it will sometimes get mad. No, without contact, I mean, that's no, just I will crazy. Say that is pretty I don't know I don't know what that is, but I don't like it without contact. That's definitely not literally. Uh, I know that these two have never played each other before, so I've heard that sentence many times. Now. Yeah, they're they're both going in completely new expectations. It's gonna be really interesting to see how they do each other out a little Captain Crack had those follow-ups on the platform. I've never seen Captain Crack play against a good Sheik at all, really. He's like another match. I've hardly seen him play at all. I I feel like the match is kind of easy for Fox, or not necessarily easy, but it's pretty easy to know what to do. Okay. Uh, yeah, Shine is such a, like, powerful move in this matchup. Just get Sheik off you. Captain Crack is playing a smart card. He's just one grab. Yeah. If Tuda wants to win this game, he's gonna have to get some grabs and sustain that combo for a decent bit. Well, I'm just describing Sheik's game plan. Very nice. I feel like the prevalence of seeing people like I feel like the prevalence of seeing people like Wizrobe and uh, Jmook and whatnot crouch cancel so much during. Oh, that was a crazy lunch grab. I'm surprised that worked. Crouch cancel so much during tech chases. People are too afraid to use their shield when it's most appropriate. Like, you're standing over them. You can wave dash out a shield and then immediately dash. If um, they're threatening... If they're threatening get-up attack, you just shield. I went on that explanation way too long, and it went from 2 to 2 to 1 to 1. Maybe not this time. Oh, the platforms are just the position Kuda needs. Yeah, I I wish we lived in the timeline where that was the stock. Great game one from Kuda. I'm gonna. I didn't. I didn't want to shit. Talk. I didn't want to trash talk my boy, but uh, I did not think Kuda was gonna win that at the beginning. Maybe not at first. Captain Crack really opened it up. With that. Yeah, this is, I mean, this is such a tough matchup for Sheik. Kuda's gonna be playing on the back foot pretty much the entire time. Yeah, at, at early position, yeah, there we go. Kuda's just trying to get a sneak. We can knock down like this now. Kind of like our strikes. Aw, missing that grab is huge. I mean, they're really only having, like, Four or five neutral interactions per stock. Every single dropped grab or something that Kuda should have got is like a raise. Vice versa for Fox too, but Fox it's you know it's a little it's a little less painful. You, know, you don't see the combo tree like you do with Sheik. No, it's absolutely right. Pay attention to how he likes to grab the ledge here. Oh, maybe it won't happen. Who gets the grab? Kuda or Captain Crack? Uh, I was gonna say Captain Crack's been grabbing the ledge. In the middle of the I always feel like uh, Kuda plays the ledge a lot more, not necessarily aggressively, but he plays it very differently than a lot of people. He's a lot more comfortable playing around the ledge than even other Sheiks in the area. The double F tilt. Oh, great power shield. It's like Kuda could hear my call. <laughs> no, there's no way he adapted his face up me. Oh, what a sneaky shine. Kuda, of course, staying comfortable on the ledge until he gets the opportunity. The Captain Crack gets the counter. Back here, 
Z gamer. Okay, that could have been huge for Captain Crack. Kuda was pretty lucky to walk away with that with only 47 percent. Like that, like Fox does 23 percent, like it's nothing. Or 33 percent, I misspoke. Ooh, good shield. That, that was a little bit of Fox privilege. Too. I honestly agree with all of those bash attacks even still. Kuda's mixing in some wave dash backs. I've noticed that uh, for Kuda's playstyle, he's been a little aggressive this year. Yeah, he, Alright, Kuda using Night Strong Sheik Ledge Guards. This could be huge. Oh, that get him attack. I don't want to say anything, but this could be the end of the game. Gosh. It is a madman! That was in That was wild. Darren, if you can clip that, you should. I don't know if you can. Somebody clip that. Somebody clip that, yeah. Favorite melee camp commentator yeah. cliche is somebody clip that. Kuda definitely off to a really strong start, but you can never, ever, ever count Captain Craig out. There are there there a, a, there are a lot of players out. you just never count out, even when they're down. Captain Craig definitely one of them. Did you see the statistic that uh, MK Leo had it? <laughs> MK Leo is 80% against people up to 2 0 against him. Yeah. That is. I love players that just like make, make sets that sound like a joke. Whatever game. Uh, Alright, it makes sense for Captain Crack to go here. Uh, a lot harder for Kuda to control the ground game, stay away from it. Stay away from the box. Oh, dang. Oh, wow. Fox's speed is so hugely advantageous on the stage. Yeah, there's a universe. Even Randall would have to come and clutch there. Sheik's get up attack when she's on her stomach is so good. Her, I don't know if that's her back or stomach, the one where her leg goes over though. Oh my god. Food is so good at using one of Sheik's fast moves to cover a couple of options, and then even if that misses, he's got a bigger move still. Go cocked and ready. Alright, just made quick work of that box. <laughs> oh yeah, that's Yoshi's. Yoshi's is wild. It does, um, it applies the damage after the move, not before the move. So, really at 100, but... Yeah. Wow, Yoshi's is really small. The blast zone is not very big. Yoshi's actually has the smallest blast zone of all the competitively legal stages. And it has... Um, the only one that has a close, a similarly small ceiling is Pokemon, but it has super wide. Kuda is so good at getting in your head. Like, you think you figured out exactly the option he's going to use to get back. He does something completely different, grabs the ledge, and punches you. Yeah, I... I still would have given it... I still only would have given Kuda, like, 
3-1, up 2-0 against Captain Crack, honestly. And that's, I would have given him 50-50 at the beginning of the set. Let's be a huge tech chase. I think the uh, I think the defensive game is really gonna define the next few games. I think the winner of the set is gonna be whoever can get out of the opponent's combos more quickly more than anything else. Bouncing on the platform for uh, save is a good idea there. Ooh, using the uh, sour spot in air was super or back air was super smart. Both of their tech chases are looking so clean this game. It's like they leveled up on the character select screen. This poor Sheik saw her life flash before her eyes. Didn't want to be replaced by another one. He did not need. He did not need to charge those needles. All right, Captain Crack with a little baby lead, but he can lose it at any moment. Now all you gotta do is hold down and do the move sometimes. This is the beginning of the tech chase. How big will this go? I got practicing to get out of these pretty quickly. Yeah, he's been doing fantastic. Good. Getting saved, getting cleared, and then re engaging on this. Not just getting two dead free. Oh my gosh, the down airs four in a row. Big down air is such a good move. It's one of the highest priority moves. It's got a great hit on. I think we're seeing a game of five. Oh, of course, but. Lose a punish, and I do not want to give up stage. Going to the ledge is so scary. And that's the end. What a fantastic set, John Kuda. 